Hi guys, Redneck Wannabe here. I hope all's well with you and your family today. So I'm out here at the farm and I've got a trail camera out here just because I want to know what kind of critters are out here. You know, I, I've never seen any hog tracks, but I want to know if there's hogs out here and deer and you know, the whole deal. So usually I have the trail camera right over there. So the other day I decided, you know, I'm just going to try to get a different angle. So I'm going to put the trail camera right here and it's, you know, it's facing that way towards the house. But I put the camera here and you can kind of see the indention where, uh, where I just pressed the leaves down so I could get a good, um, you know, a good picture. Well, I haven't set the date, um, but the camera has a, uh, it has a date and it also has a temperature setting on there and so the other day when I came out and I pulled uh, pulled the the disc and I'm so I'm looking through through the pictures and on this particular day the high here was 89 degrees and you know 89 degrees first week of February <laughs> it was pretty warm but anyway um, so the the high here I know was 89 the temperature um, you know how there's a uh, you know whenever the picture takes there's you know a date a date stamp and a and a uh, temperature stamp. So the temperature stamp on that picture was 102 degrees. And again, it's right here. So, you know, the I, I'm sure the leaves just reflected the light and the heat and, and all that. So it just got me to, to thinking that I wonder what the temperature is in the rows. And so about 30 minutes ago, I got a just a plain old thermometer. I don't have uh, a soil thermometer, so the temperature out here, the the ambient temperature is 63 degrees, and so that's 86. So let's just say, for sake of argument, there's a 20 degree difference from the outside temperature to the row. Uh, or the the surface temperature in the very bottom of the row and so this is one of the deepest rows hopefully you can get a pretty good look but this is a pretty you know fairly deep row so what I'll do is I'll move the thermometer to the top of the I don't know what you want to call it the berm so right now it's right here I'm going to move it right here, and we'll check the temperature here in about 30 minutes. So, we'll talk to you in a bit. Hi guys, part two. Um, I put the uh, thermometer at the highest point, or highest, I don't know, row um, in the garden. And so, the temperature's raised outside to about 68. So, let's see. Alright, so we, wow. Four, maybe yeah 94 so big difference so I don't know what it, you know what it's like in the um, in the rows I would assume it's pretty much the same just because it is getting direct sunlight so I thought I'd do one more uh, temperature test and I'm just gonna put it out on bare ground and we'll see what it's like so now I know that the soil temperature is not 90 something degrees but it's just curious you know I was just curious to know if uh, if the row if the deep rows affect the temperature uh, so apparently you know, apparently not but let's see what it is on the bare ground so we'll check here in just a sec thanks hey guys redneck want to be again here's a third and final part to the uh, uh, video that I was doing sorry the gust the wind just just picked up uh, the third and final part where I was just just seeing what the temperature was in the row the top of the row and then I put the, the thermometer out here on bare ground so um, again the the temperature outside is 68 maybe 70 degrees let's just say 70 just to make it easy and uh, you know the first row was it a 20 degree difference when we put it on top of the row, that was almost a 25 degree difference. So let's see. What was it? 84? 85? Something like that? So let's just say 
there's a 15 degree difference on just the plain uh, soil. So, you know, I don't know what it means. Um, I just thought, I just thought it would be interesting to uh, just to check it out. So it looks like there's a huge temperature difference just on the the, the ground temperature on open ground and ground temperature with the uh, uh, with the wood chips. So I hope you find this interesting. Hopefully helpful in some way. Uh, but I just thought I would put this out, and I appreciate y'all. Y'all take care. Bye.